Is there anybody else in denial about wearing glasses or is it just me? Everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Sherry Lisa here. And in today's video, we're doing one of my favorites, which I do pretty routinely if you have been subscribed to this channel, which you should be. Do that right now and click the notification. Um, I love doing empties. I love trying products. I feel sometimes that I was meant to be a consumer of beauty and give my unsolicited opinion about everything. But specifically, so this is the Myel Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. It's infused with biotin and encourages growth uh, for daily use scalp treatment, split end care. There are so many great oils in this. This is definitely a repurchase. Um, I think that if you have my type of hair, which is textured, coily, curly, 4C, 4Z. I have all my like hair type and all that information listed um, in the description bar. Empty, actually not too quickly. There is a little bit of oil left in here, which I just I just noticed. Um, I end up mixing it with a hair growth oil that I have in my bathroom, which is another favorite of mine too. And they worked really well together. There are really great oils in here. Um, nettles, there is vitamin E, vitamin C, peppermint, horsetail, which is known for hair growth, safflower. It's a really nice oil. It smelled very nice. Like now that I have braids, I'm sure this is like the first time you guys have seen on my channel me with um, like a, a particular hairstyle. I my hair my scalp is a little bit dry, so this is perfect for that. This oil it just feels really good on the scalp, which I really like. Um, I love that it comes in a dropper bottle. I love that there's multiple oils that will produce hair growth. Um, Myel is sold in Target. I think I spent ten dollars for for this. This does last a long time because I know that I purchased this in, um, I want to say probably June. All of Miles products are really, really, really great. Um, the company is black owned, which is super dope. You know, I like to support my black owned businesses. Yes, I know I'm making Target probably more of a billion dollar company, but I know that sales will reach um, a black entrepreneur and this is just such an awesome product to, to to use a little bit does go a long way I probably put too much but my scalp is dry when you get these braids girl you'll be like this and you know what I'm talking about um, one of my really good friends purchased this friends television series um, face mask I don't know what the brand okay it says friends but I'm not sure like where she got this um, but this mask was really good there was a point where I fell off from exfoliating and really taking care of my skin I didn't have any damaged skin but it was looking a little dull and I needed a refresher and this just hit the spot so it says how you do an energizing coffee face mask with coconut oil um, I really like the ingredients if I saw this I don't know where to find this I would definitely repurchase I love sheet masks I think they are essential to a perfect skincare routine um, switch it up try to do two three a week I think you should mask every other day especially if you have makeup specifically if you're wearing masks every day especially with that clogged sweaty like porous skin underneath you definitely need to do a hydrating mask an exfoliating mask do all of those things but um, this was really nice when I needed as a good pick-me-up and I'm so glad thank you Leanne for purchasing this for me this is one of my birthday gifts um, I will link my birthday video uh, vlog I hope you guys are enjoying Enjoying the vlogs please comment down below if you have um, and anything that you want to see because you know New York City girl gotta be in the not be repurchasing because I honestly thought it was like a waste of money even though I did use it this is the eco tools I don't know the name of this brush I'll try to list it below in the description bar but it's definitely one of those things that um, it seems like a great idea but I, I don't know if maybe it's a little bit between am I lazy or do I just hate the bristles? I think they are too soft. I'm not saying that I would like them more rough or intense. I just feel like there were too many bristles to really get in there. And I've been thinking about making a big purchase, um, probably not for a while, because I just, you guys are gonna enjoy my Sephora haul, my birthday Sephora haul. Um, I've been wanting to make a purchase for a facial brush so that I can really get in there. I feel my skin has made a huge comeback, except 
except for this little bit area. My forehead and my cheeks are like the main areas where I get breakouts, but I counteract that with retinols and a lot of uh, chemical exfoliants and just taking care of my skin. I have a really strict routine, even though it's a few things, I do them every single night. Something that's helped me tremendously is uh, a cold water rinse in the morning as opposed to washing your face because I saw that Pharrell Williams does and I was like, well, Pharrell has amazing skin, he exfoliates all the time and then he splashes his face with cold water and I was like, I need to do the same thing. This is one of those things that it got dirty so quickly. The bristles moved a lot. I kept this in a Target bag for probably two and a half months because I wanted to review it for the channel back when I didn't really have a lot of products. Um, I just kind of wish it just did a little bit more but what more can you ask for with a product that looks like this it's not really anything much to do there i am a huge fan of echo tools but i, I wouldn't purchase this ever this exfoliating toner glycolic acid that's seven percent toning solution has a ph balance of 3.6 this is a huge bottle and i purchased this and I just remember using it every other night and then it was around a time where I wasn't best friends because I'm talking about you need to be best friends at a family level with SPF. I wasn't. I was not SPFing like I was in married to this person. I was just using it sparingly and so yes I did have and I'm not blaming this but I think around the time I wasn't properly educated. I just purchased something and didn't really know. Please get as much education as you can with retinoids. Anything that has asked. Anything that could do a really huge destructive thing to your skin learn all the basics the tips the tricks to use it because your skin will burn the fuck off and you don't want to be like me making a fool of yourself I think 2018 was a weird year of my skin just going through ups and downs and I, I explored too much back when I was working with at Sephora because I was really wanting to try products and talk about it with my clients and so I found that that was kind of a waste and I end up just ruining my skin and now that I've got a simple routine down behind this toning solution is great I think honestly there's too much there this bottle is too big it's eight bucks the ordinary has a reasonable priced you know for the girl that doesn't have a lot of money but wants to have a nice skincare routine they're a great place to start and they do have a lot of great products however this bottle is bigger than most of the products that they have and my issue with that and why I keep repeating that is that I feel that because it's too much product in there it's quick for this to um expire or get yellow it has a 12 month lifespan please respect the lifespan of any product that you have whether it's three months six months 12 nine months and 12 months it's on every i think it's even on vitamins you know what i'm saying like expiration did on everything even the people that you're dating that's for another video and I had this for probably six to eight months before I realized that it was yellowing. I feel like if they like cut the bottle down a little bit and then told people to use it maybe every other day to get rid of like excessive, you know, bumps and stuff like that and hyperpigmentation while mirroring a SPF regimen, then I feel like you'd get a lot of more, a, a lot more out of it. For eight fluid ounces, it's a lot of product. And I think there is a conversation that needs to be had in the whole entire beauty community about over exfoliating. It can't be the end all be all for everything. I think that it helps a lot, but over exfoliating will create breakouts to your skin and your skin will be like, well, damn, you know, what do I need to get rid of? It'll, it's one of those, like, if it ain't broke, it ain't, it ain't gotta be fixed kind of thing. There's nothing really to fix in that it's sense. a plumping skin softener with 98.7 Hadassi-3 trademark anti-aging complex. The Tasha Essence is a concentration of pure micronutrients, softens and plumps skin with deep hydration while maximizing the performance of the Tasha skincare ritual. Ladies and gentlemen, this is possibly the best essence on the market. It's expensive, it's $99. It lasted me, I wanna say it lasted me a year. There's a lot of product in there. It's 150 milliliters, 5.1 fluid ounces. The packaging, my problem with like, you know, my favorite brands all have ridiculous packaging. Let's talk about that. I'm not the eco, you know, um, let's recycle. That's definitely not my channel. I'm a consumer, so I know that when I purchase things, I know that I'm contributing to um, what the world needs to focus on, which is treating Earth better. 
I will, I will own that. My top three favorite essences or essence is probably I'll, I'm is this is neck and neck for me with SK2. SK2 is re ridiculously priced but it is an amazing product if you don't know what an essence is I will put a little information here an essence is basically going to help your skin um, your whole skincare routine just work effortlessly after that right everything's going to really sink into the skin and it just makes your skin look really soft very um, plump very effortlessly like I literally woke up like this like a Beyonce song I love it is it essential to your everyday routine I think as you age hell yeah I would suggest purchasing this I would suggest that if um, and it doesn't have to really be Tatcha I would say out of the three that I would highly recommend them if the girls are gonna create um, a holiday package where you could get like you know you know three products for like 40 50 60 bucks if this comes out in a kit please purchase it I promise you I will not be steering you wrong oh my god I have a little product here I'm gonna use it tonight um I the leaf aqua bomb jelly cleanser so the funny thing is when i left sephora i had a bunch of packets for some reason of this this uh cleanser i used to recommend this to people all the time i loved it i used it on clients but for some reason didn't purchase for myself it wasn't given to me in gratis or anything like that i love it it's a really simple clean cleanser and then i was using the packets because i've been running out i mean at this point it's been a while since i've been gone i've been going through these little packets and then i was like yo i really Really love this this is exactly what I need this in January part of me I bought this in January right when I left to Florida in the beginning of June I had a little bit left and didn't feel like I needed to travel with that to Florida and so I used another like drugstore cleanser and then the water in Florida just really uh, my skin was terrible it just never looked good and cleanse and nothing like that but you know i feel like because i don't have a lot of breakouts on my skin's pretty youthful and plump a lot of people think that my skin is like great i'm not it's really hard on my skin i just find that my skin could just be worked out a little bit better then i come home and i use this and i'm like why did i do that in florida why did i we were why did the water do that to my skin number one and two why didn't i bring this with me and so to further confirm how much of a hard head person that I am, I don't repurchase this. It's $28. It's really worth the money. It's not a huge deal, right? I tried to find a generic alternative for it. And so I'm in Target and I have this cleanser, which I won't even name because I hate it so much. And it's sitting there and I use it and it just doesn't clean my skin the way that I need. Like, I like for a cleanser to just cleanse my skin. I don't want it to do any kind of extra thing. This is literally a hydrating cleanser that gets rid of um, everything. And for a while, I, re I realized because I'm heavy handed that I was using too much. It's kind of it's the type of cleanser that you it's a gel, so you put it in your hand and it's good. It's kind of like um, dishwashing washing soap where it lathers and then it expands, and I love that. I was using too much, but whenever I use too much, I always hit the neck. You should always clean the neck also, by the way, ladies. Don't be that person that has a dirty neck and a nice skin. Like, make it match. Make it match. I have repurchased this. It's coming in my Sephora haul, which you guys will see sometime in the following week. I'm so excited to do Last that. Last but not least, um, one thing that is, it's not skincare, but it's something that I feel is important. And it's one of my favorites. It is the Sephora Deep Clean Solid Brush and Sponge Cleanser. I'll be fine with, the, with this is that it gets really fucking gross and like there's no way really to i feel that the deep cleaning of brushes needs to be a bigger conversation of like how to cleanse because at this point like i could get a huge bottle of C uh, C cinema secrets and clean my makeup brushes really quickly in between like a client or doing it for myself but like the stuff that really gets out the bacteria out of your brushes always comes in such a small size that you'll end up purchasing this pretty quickly and this is my i think second or third purchase of this which i didn't add to my fucking Ugh. I need to spend 10 more dollars so that I can stay VIB so this is what I'll be purchasing so it's a it's a strange thing because like it's such a great product 
I just feel that it goes very quickly. Like you have to wet your brush, you swivel it a little bit, and then what's cool is that it comes with a little bit of a sponge. You guys obviously know that I'm going to repurchase this because I'm talking so much. I think the whole Sephora collection line is very slept on. I'm not a fan of their eyeshadows, but I think their lip gloss is good, their face powders are good. I know people kind of equate like, oh, it's a, a it's a, a a bargain shopper, but like the average girl doesn't always have fifty dollars to spend on all these products and so if you can get all the things that you need essentially especially if you're a young girl interested in makeup and skincare then there are some great products you just have to kind of uh trial and error with that kind of stuff so guys that is my empties thank you guys so much for watching my channel don't forget to subscribe like comment below if there's anything that you've tried give me your opinions um i look forward to making videos with for you not with you for you and i will see you next time bye bye like because kind of like spicy no what would i say that it is <laughs>